Hey everybody and welcome to this week's AVA Rigs and Great Scott, it's pretty. It's, why would I, why would I say that? Is it, you know, is it, it's the, it's from that movie, you know, where that guy goes back in time with a DeLorean, because it is a time machine. What, what movie is that? Anyway, we're going to travel into the next segment of this video. Now, you don't have to be a time traveler to appreciate this fine art of PC building, and by that I mean using a Thermaltake View 37 chassis. We also have the Asus ROG Z370-E gaming motherboard. Uh, we did overclock the 8700K processor that is installed in the system. Don't have results for you, but we'll get to that later. We have a GTX 1080 Ti SC2 graphics card, 16 gigabytes of DDR4, 3000 megahertz memory, which is kind of a standard for gaming systems nowadays. Uh, it is cooled by the Hydro H150i Pro, which is why you'll notice that the fans light up all pretty and they coincide with the LED kit and the other uh, thermal take ring fans that we have in front and back, which appear to be 140 millimeter fans. It's, it's a big and pretty case, so it's got the room to do it. Why not? 500 gig 970 Evo SSD and a three terabyte Seagate Barracuda hard disk that you could use for all your raw data and all your personal folders, all the stuff that don't run, that doesn't need a performance advantage. I don't know what else more you want me to say. It's a hard drive for data. A couple of things that we're gonna point out about this system that we enjoy the most are the RGBs, of course, but I really like that the Corsair RGB liquid cooler has thinner tubes as to not take focus off of the rest of the system because most closed loop coolers or CLCs have very thick tubing and they are braided to look pretty, but still it's bulky and it stands out amongst some of the other items in the case. So Corsair's RGB one H150 cooler allows that to kind of fade into the background. So that's kind of nice. Another thing to note is that we really like that there's ample support for vertically mounted GPUs as to not create sagging. And the card itself is overclocked. And even still with being overclocked, you'll notice fans aren't spinning because it's the, the design of the ACX 3.0 coolers. The fans will only spin once they hit a certain threshold of 50 degrees or so. And those are some of the major features that we really like about this build. Well, there you have it. This week's AVA rigs featuring the Thermaltake View 37 chassis is RGB pretty and unicorn-esque. But that's still no reason as to why you should like and subscribe to our channel of YouTube, our Facebook, our Twitter, our Instagram, anything you can think of that all you crazy kids communicate on these days. Once again, I'm Joe. Now make like a tree and get out of here.